Hey guys, it's uh, Crafty Carter. Wanted to uh, touch base with you on the uh, constant current load project I've been working on. I've made a few uh, updates and improvements, a little hardware, a little software. Wanted to uh, go over them briefly. Let me move this camera. <clears throat> so, here are the uh, load resistors I've worked on. This is a 200 watt 0 0.1 ohm resistor and uh, with it I can burn up to uh, well 200 watts so it, uh, 10 uh, volts that would be 20 amps so there you go uh, this is a uh, 30 watt 1 ohm resistor this is what you might call a decade resistor and then I just put uh, 10 10 ohm resistors in parallel solder them all together and put them on a plug uh, that way I can just plug them right in to a uh, voltmeter for uh, output I've also added a uh, option for a uh, pa analog panel meter which is handy And then on the uh, circuit, I added a few other clever features. Two trim pots. This guy uh, reduces the voltage from the uh, voltage reference, which is that guy, down to, well, almost nothing, down to like 100 millivolts or something, uh, and all the way up to uh, 1.5. And then this guy, that trimmer, it is in the uh, first feedback loop and its purpose is to adjust the gain so with it I can go um, down to no gain and up to infinity gain which limits it to the uh, voltage you're powering the op amp with and uh, or at least its ability to get there I'm not using a rail to rail op amp so I'm feeding it 12 volts but it will only get to about uh, Oh, I don't know, maybe uh, eight volts output, something like that. And uh, the other change is from the last time you've seen it, is I removed the uh, choke that was here um, and added this guy, which is just a high speed ceramic capacitor. And then I added a second debouncing cap on the rotary encoder, which I thought, well, which I found worked much better. Oh, and finally, I added this switch, which is just a uh, single switch, double pole uh, switch. So it just swaps, it switches between this line and this line. And that goes to the gate on the MOSFET, which is hiding back there. And uh, it does, it switches it between what I just call bias mode and what I call switching mode. And uh, then the software change I did was uh, I made, I wrote some software, actually put it out open source today and I'll link it up in the blog post and it is a, a velocity sensitive rotary encoder library for Arduino um, since I'm running an Arduino here, this little guy is an Arduino and uh, so when you turn it slowly it indexes a value slowly, when you turn it fast it indexes it fast and part of the library allows you to set those speed functions so I just give you access to a couple of variables in the equation and you change them and it moves faster or slower and lastly uh, what I've done is I've uh, created the board let's see if you can see that, oh you can't see it like that can you haha -ha. um, so there's the uh, layout of the PCB I did it all uh, through whole components and there is the schematic and I'll not bore you with that too much let me show you how it's running now so a couple things to look at here is we have the uh, temperature probe on the MOSFET since I'm now running 
upwards of 5 amps through the resistor. I wanted to uh, see how the MOSFET would handle that kind of power. And then here we have two voltmeters, uh, one analog and one digital. And this is still on a 1 ohm resistor. I'm not using this guy right now. So uh, 1 volt equals 1 amp. And uh, now we can turn it up nice and slow. It's clearly in switching mode. And if I turn it fast, uh, now we can see how it operates. I can turn it all the way 360 degrees and turn it, adjust it almost none at all if I do it slowly. But if I do it fast, then it moves fast. And uh, I can show it to you in bias mode as well. In bias mode, you see it just puts a different voltage across the... Uh, it just puts a different static voltage on the gate of the MOSFET. So the MOSFET acts more like a, lim a differential resistor. But, uh, like I said in a previous post, I prefer it in switching mode. I think that more effectively uses the uh, MOSFET, but it sort of depends on what kind of load you're trying to operate and what's on the... what's supplying it. If you want to test the power supply with a... Uh, and it, when it's not switching, then uh, a switching load doesn't help much. So, you have both options. And... Uh, the uh, boards are currently in production. I'm going to be out of town when they come back, I think, but uh, they'll be here when I return. And I've already got parts for it, so I'll build them up and uh, see how they run. I have uh, one bodge on the motherboard where I'm missing that second capacitor on the uh, encoder. And I also have one misprint on the silk screen. But, uh, Otherwise, I think it's pretty good. So once I build them up and see if it's right, I'll uh, post the final version of the uh, of the uh, Eagle files, and other people can build these up if they want. And uh, I've got a uh, fan on it now. I think I'm going to try to stick this whole contraption in a little box with a fan in it to uh, keep that. MOSFET cool. I'm not a big fan of the TO220 package. I don't think it's very uh, effective at transferring energy. It's got, uh, it just gets too hot compared to other packages that I've seen that I prefer. So uh, it definitely gets warmer than I'd like. But a fan is certainly useful, and uh, with a fan, a little heat sink paste, I think it's not going to be an issue at all. All right, well, that's the news. Talk at you.